Hello everyone, my name is Nazmus Kandekar and welcome to this video. Um, this is a video feedback, uh, a beta feedback for the developers of Chuck Challenge uh, as part of the closed beta testing program. This video itself is private and only will only become public after Chuck Challenge is released. So if you're watching this video, you're likely part of the uh, private beta group. Okay, so this video will focus on the touch experience with Chuck Challenge. So what I have here is a, sim a simulated Windows 8 tablet simulator as part of Visual Studio 2012. Uh, this simulator will actually simulate a touch experience for Windows 8. So as you can see, I'm, pa I'm panning with a uh, virtual finger. So the circle you see is circle pointer is actually where my finger is hovering and when I tap it you could see the circle becoming uh, brighter so I could uh, go right left swipe right left and you could see if I go to Internet Explorer I'm gonna go to Wikipedia as you can see because it's a simulated touch environment a keyboard shows up as you as it would in uh, as it would with uh, a real tablet W I K I there you go wikipedia.org go so I'm gonna. What I want to show you is that you could also simulate multi-touch. So if I do pinch and zoom, you could see my two fingers being simulated. I could zoom out and zoom in. So I could pinch and zoom in or zoom out. So as you can see, this is a real nice touch experience. Um. So okay. So I'm gonna go back. Uh. Start. Hit the Windows key. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna test the experience, touch experience of Chuck Challenge. So I'm going to open up my apps menu, and as you can see, Chuck's Challenge is right here. Chuck's Challenge. This is the latest dev build that we have as a beta tester. We have been given. So, oh, sorry, that didn't meant to happen. Okay, there you go. Um, okay, so we're going to play as the low. Uh, we don't need. To add, so we're going to just. Uh, we're going to play as windowed mode, <coughs> and with the lowest graphics because we don't need to worry about graphics right now. Um, so I'm going to click play. So you can see this is only touch, so um, this is not a mouse. So you can see the first time, uh, the first uh, out of the box experience that we we'll have to type in a username and password. The thing is, uh, there's no virtual keyboard that's showing up because, uh, and this is going to be a problem problematic for uh, touch users, especially if we're playing full screen. Because, but if because I'm not playing full screen, I could bring a virtual keyboard on demand. So I'm going to type my username and password. So until then, I'm going to pause the video and then type the username and password. Okay, so I'm have been I am logged in and here we go. Uh, we're in the main menu. So I don't need the keyboard anymore. I'll close this. So okay, um, so let's test out by the create mode. Um, so this is the design mode for levels. So let's. Here's the, another bug I found that when you tap create, nothing happens. If I tap play, nothing happens. What I actually have to do is double tap. I don't know why that is, but uh, it just doesn't work. Uh, if I use a mouse, as you can see, I can do single tap. So I want to click settings. Single tap works. Single click works. Say back, single click works. But if I go back to a finger, I have to double tap. I have to double tap. If I tap once, it just glows. If I tap again, it works. So it if I tap once, it glows. So I have to tap tap twice. I don't know why that is, um, but something is not right. That's a bug. Okay, so we're in the create mode, or we're loading the create mode. A few things to notice here is that I can't pan, so I can't pan around. Um, also, uh, these buttons right here are way too small. Also, I have to double tap these. Otherwise, they won't work. If I single tap, it glows. I have to tap twice. Double tap, double tap, double tap, oh, double tap. Also, see, uh, the finger is missing it because it's just too small. And in a real tablet, this is going to be way too small. Even these buttons are way too small for touch. Um, but let's, uh, no worries. Also, a zoom in functionality is um, is designed for mouse because if I switch back to a mouse, now I'm in a mouse mode. Um, click to zoom, right click to zoom out click to zoom, right click to zoom out but with touch there is no right click so it's a little bit confusing um, I could simulate a right click by tapping and holding but yeah it's it's kinda of weird so let's uh, no worries that's another thing um, so put this put this and zoom out a little bit uh, let's see 
put the exit right here and put whoop where where are you there you are oh no, no there you are okay so let's play it again after double oops okay there you go double tap also there's a bug it's hanging in the middle I don't know why uh, maybe this should be fixed as well but again uh, here I can't move around there's no keypad unlike the iOS version where there was a keypad I can't move around this will be almost impossible to play in a full screen mode so here's the virtual keyboard I could bring up the virtual keyboard and but the problem is the virtual keyboard has only left and right arrows um, I can't move up and down which is a problem as well so a real physical uh, keypad would be nice of course I could use my keyboard and mouse but again this does not seem to work so I'm going to um, exit out of here um, yeah return so there you go there's my uh, extended uh, uh, double tap double tap double okay never mind I want to just close it okay um, so there's my extended double t uh, extended touch preview or touch review of Chuck's challenge in Windows 8 tablet my ultimate uh, review or ultimate uh, verdict is there's no possible enjoyable way to be able to ex in uh, experience Chuck's challenge in touch and until the developers uh, design this game for touch yeah it's only mouse and keyboard and that's all I can say thank you for watching